Hello everyone, I'm Claire Davis for Mental Health Chats and we are continuing the series on grieving. So I'd like to welcome Anne Allen. Hello Anne, how are you? I'm well, thank you Claire, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. This is part of our wider series. Find the full interview in the playlist for this series. But we do need to understand, obviously, that grief can apply to any loss. Oh my goodness, yes. And we have over 42 different types of losses in our lives, uh, believe it or not. And unfortunately, by the time you get to our ages, um, you've had at least nine very significant losses in your life. And so now I'll, I'll give you the definition of what loss is. Again, there's many different definitions, but I really like this one because I think it, it kind of narrows it down, helps us to be a little have a little bit more perspective. So loss is considered the change in or end of a familiar fact behavior or pattern related to a person, place, or thing. So it's a very long-winded way of saying that any time our, our identity is changed, any time our routine is changed, any time something in our life that is significant that has changed, we will feel it as a loss, and for every loss that is significant, we will grieve. So... Yeah. For example, you know, we've got loss of jobs, we've got loss of financial income, we've got loss of country. Think of the refugees that have to, to leave their country, their beloved homeland, because it's no longer safe there, which brings me to loss of safety, loss of trust, loss of faith, loss of childhood, all of these things. And then, of course, people who go into the early stages of dementia, uh, their loved ones, are left behind with grieving the relationship that once was. And then of course, when unfortunately they pass, now they're left with grieving for the, for the person as well. So hopefully that gives people an idea that loss and grief are just so much more than death and dying. So thank you very much, Anne. And um, Anne is able to be contacted on LinkedIn. So I'll put her link to LinkedIn there. So thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.